Fantasy fanfiction. I sell agricultural dump trucks. You say I sell arms. Chapter 11. The next day, Mao Shang's Foreign Affairs Department also issued a video statement in response to Ying Zhang's report. In the video, a reporter from Mao Shang country mentioned this issue when interviewing frontline leader Soroviv. General, Ying Zhang reported that two of our personnel carriers were destroyed on the battlefield and suffered heavy losses. This is a sign that we have lost the initiative on the battlefield. What do you think of this? Facing the reporter's camera, Sulaviv was all smiles. Dear Davari, let me ask you to do a simple math question. The price of a single transport truck is about 20,000 US dollars. How much does two trucks cost? $40,000. The reporter replied without thinking. That's right. Sulaviv nodded. Then please do another math question. One Hamas rocket is worth 100,000 US dollars. One 155 mm ordinary artillery shell is worth 5,000 US dollars. How much does five Hamas rockets plus more than 20 ordinary artillery shells cost? Well, the reporter hesitated and replied, about $600,000. When Salaviv heard this number, the smile on his face became more obvious. Ermao spent $600,000 US dollars to destroy our transport truck worth $40,000 US dollars. This is the heavy loss we suffered according to Ying Zhang. Oh, by the way, as soon as the transport vehicle was destroyed, we also followed Ermao's attack trajectory and destroyed a small heavy artillery base of the opponent. Soroviev's answer immediately confused the reporter. This heavy loss is really significant. Their Mao Shang country directly lost 40,000 US dollars in this round of attacks. As the attacker, Ermao paid 600,000 US dollars and a small heavy artillery base is the price. This, who lost the money? When it comes to reporting, Ying Zhang still knows how to play. If you just look at the superficial meaning of Ying Zhang's report, Mao Shangguo is indeed at a huge loss. His own troop carrier was attacked. Doesn't this just mean that Ermao has real-time information on the battlefield? In modern warfare, whoever has first-hand information can strike first. According to this line of thinking, it is not an exaggeration to say that the Mao Shang kingdom has lost the initiative on the frontal battlefield. But the question is eagle sauce or that eagle sauce? The report was full of losses to the bear country, but there was absolutely no mention of the loss of my adopted son. 600,000 rockets and artillery shells destroyed a $40,000 transport truck. Is this something to be proud of? Any ordinary person knows that his pants will fall off if he loses two cents. Not to mention that Ermao also lost a small heavy artillery base. The losses involved are huge. The reporter had already accepted Soroviev's statement. After all, it is unlikely that Soroviv lied about this. But then I thought about it and felt something was wrong. No, General, why is a troop carrier so cheap? A troop carrier only costs $20,000, which is outrageous. Don't the prices of transport vehicles, especially military transport vehicles, start in the millions? The reason why it's so cheap is because what was destroyed by Ermao was not a military transport vehicle at all, but an agricultural vehicle agricultural vehicle. The reporter was shocked. That's right. Agricultural vehicle. Soroviv nodded and continued. I can't tell you exactly where this car came from. Soloviv did not want to mention the origin of the vehicle. He's not stupid. What if Ermao finds out and goes to Rabbit to purchase? Then wouldn't his advantage be gone? Of course, Soloviv also knew that this matter could not be hidden. After all, the Eagle Sauce report already indicated that this car was transported from Rabbit. A little research will reveal the source. But so what? Sulaviv had heard what OYEV said. The company that produces the Desert Crosser is a small factory with not very high production capacity. When he was going back, he asked OYEV to purchase a group of Desert Traversers. In this way, their orders alone will be enough for this factory to produce for a long time. Want to buy her Mao? Q. By the time it's finished lining up, maybe the war will be over. Who said that all old men are honest boys who can do things but never force themselves? This Soloviev's little calculation is very loud. Once the news about the furry bear country was reported, it quickly caused an uproar internationally. Especially in the bear country, the whole country was elated. The honest old guys went directly to Ying Zhang's official extranet with detailed data to leave messages. 
When the news spread back to China, domestic netizens were also shocked. Looking at the detailed data released by Mao Shang, everyone seemed to have seen the scene of Big Mao and Er Mao crying together. Da Mao cried with laughter. Er Mao really cried. What a miserable Er Mao. I'm very curious about Er Mao's expression when he heard the news, ha ha ha. Er Mao spent 600,000 US dollars to launch an attack, but only destroyed Mao Shang's transport truck worth 40,000 US dollars. Is it so magical? Sulaviv. I didn't expect it, this is an agricultural vehicle. Ermao must feel as uncomfortable as eating a fly at this moment. If he fights, he will suffer a loss. If he doesn't fight, it won't work. It's too painful. Who would have thought that the instigator of the situation on the battlefield between Da Mao and Ermao was actually an agricultural machinery factory in Arsha Kingdom? Ha ha ha, O's agricultural machinery factory is awesome. Quote dot 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 quote. Netizens who saw this report burst into laughter. It's not that they can't help it, it's just that this thing is too outrageous. Eating melons is the nature of shop people. Especially netizens who don't take it too seriously to watch the excitement are the best. When these netizens learned that Mao Shangguo had brought data to Yingjiang's official diplomatic network, they couldn't sit still. With such a good plot, how can it attract crowds of spectators with so little information? Although this matter has nothing to do with us, it does not prevent us from deducting 666 from you. Suddenly, many netizens also went to the website of the Yingjiang Embassy in Sha, posted the data, and left messages. Eagle Chan, your report is not comprehensive, look at this. Should I say it or not, you guys can play with this traditional art. 233, confusing right and wrong has always been Yingjiang's specialty. Eagle Sauce. Basic exercises, don't do it, sit still. As long as you learn from RSFA, you won't be so passive. The bureau chief shook his head after reading Ying Zhang's report, it's so unprofessional. Zhou, warning against the rules of the game. As time went on, things continued to unravel. Many melon-eating netizens rushed to Ying Zhang to ask for an explanation. Although everyone knows about the urinary properties of Ying Zhang, the mistake this time must be too big. As the heat continued to rise, pressure was placed on the hawk sauce. Who's going to tell me what's going on? You keep saying that the bear suffered heavy losses, but what happened? Also, you said you have evidence that rabbit secretly supports bear with military supplies. Where is the evidence? On the other side of the ocean, in the office of the Minister of Defense and Foreign Affairs of a free country, Thomas roared crazily. A small-scale conflict between Da Mao and Er Mao aroused their attention. Originally, such small conflicts happened every day and were not that unusual. But this little conflict is so special. After they got the news, they were filled with joy. When Thomas saw it, he saw that this would not only dampen the arrogance of the bear, but also tear off the rabbit's mask of hypocrisy. It's like killing two birds with one stone. Report. It must be reported. Their eagle sauce wants the world to know. The furry bears are not as powerful as they appear, and the rabbits are not as honest as they appear. However, the result made Thomas furious. It was promised that the bear would suffer heavy losses, but in the end, the loss of two cents went to my grandma's house. 600,000 artillery shells destroyed 40,000 vehicles. How can you have the nerve to say that the bear country suffered heavy losses? And what the hell is this farm vehicle? Didn't you swear to me before that this is evidence that the rabbit supports the military equipment of the furry bear? Thomas dropped the document in his hand on the table. Perhaps it was the dopamine secretion doubled due to being too angry, which made his face look red. Who will tell me what to do now? Thomas roared. The presidential palace had called him just now. If this matter is not handled well, not only will his career come to an end. Life has come to an end directly. Thomas knows. Although their reports have always been exaggerated and only reported the favorable side of themselves. But in the past, they had a lot of room for maneuver. This time Mao Shang has compiled all the detailed data. If they don't handle it well, it will severely damage the international prestige of Eagle Sauce. Such serious consequences for him. Thomas Lane was good enough to be sent in. Mr. Lane, intelligence shows that the agricultural vehicle mentioned by Mao Shangguo comes from an agricultural machinery factory in Xiaoguo. At this time, an intelligence officer in the office said to Thomas. 
Thomas's nose almost twisted with anger when he heard this. You said it was an agricultural machinery factory. No, no, sir, I mean, don't you think this is a coincidence? The intelligence officer looked at Thomas and continued. Judging from the battlefield performance of this vehicle, their so-called agricultural vehicle is simply tailor-made for the Maoist frontline battlefield. What kind of agricultural vehicle can be sent to the battlefield? You mean, after hearing your analysis from the intelligence officer, Thomas also reacted. It's really too much of a coincidence. Rabbit said it was an agricultural vehicle, but the fact was that the agricultural vehicle Rabbit said was extremely suitable for the battlefield in the bear country. This has to make people suspicious. Thomas knew rabbits too well. Although rabbits look harmless to humans and animals, their bellies are full of bad water. The black-bellied rabbit is very bad. Thomas now suspected that the rabbit and the bear were putting on a show for him. On the surface this is an agricultural vehicle, but in fact it is a military transport vehicle specially produced by rabbit for fur bears. When he thought of this, Thomas felt so angry. Okay you bunny. You want to play with me about building plank roads openly and secretly spending time in old warehouses, right? If I hadn't read The Art of War, I would have been deceived by you. In this way, you immediately contact some media and ask them to express the truth of the matter in a tactful way. In addition, send someone to investigate this agricultural machinery factory in detail, and be sure to find evidence that the rabbit is secretly supporting the bear. Thomas gave the order directly. In this regard, it is not convenient for their official media to make groundless reports. But just because the official media is inconvenient does not mean that other media are inconvenient. What he wants to do now is not to hammer the rabbit, but to plant a seed of doubt in everyone. Once this seed is planted, the pressure on the rabbit side will be overwhelming. Under Thomas's operation, various conspiracy reports on Yingjong's side were flying all over the place. The rabbit also reacted quickly and started to fight directly. The rabbit tells the evidence, and the furry bear gives the data. But Yingjong is not stupid either. If someone doesn't confront you head on, that's just one thing. Suspect. Yingjong's reports almost always start with professional terms such as, serious suspicion. For a while, rabbit, furry bear and eagle sauce started a public opinion war. It was a lively exchange of words and exchanges. But this has nothing to do with Lu Ming. He has been in a good mood these past two days. Although our own products are still at the forefront of the storm, it doesn't hurt. Even because of the high popularity, they have placed more orders. Of course, most of these orders are placed by domestic off-road enthusiasts. A very small part of it was purchased by farmer uncles. But even so, Lu Ming was happy enough. Although the process was a bit tortuous, the product was sold, right? They don't have to go bankrupt. During this period, there were media interviews almost every day at Ao's machinery factory. But when interviewed, both Lu Ming and the workers in the factory insisted that the desert crossing was an agricultural vehicle. The original intention of the design was to facilitate farmers to transport fertilizer seeds. After Yan Zhonlong learned the news, he smiled. General, do we really have nothing to do with you? Lian Xiaofeng looked at Yan Zhonlong and asked softly. The higher-ups have noticed this recently. Especially since this turned into a diplomatic incident. What do you care about? Yan Zhonlong glanced at Lian Xiaofeng and said unhappily. What happened to our export of agricultural vehicles? He, Ying Chan, does whatever he says. He's too domineering. Really think we are afraid of him. That kid Lu Ming is making money from the bears. Not only can we not control him, we also have to protect him. Yan Zhonlong's words were not nonsense. Whether it's public or private, they can't restrict Lu Ming. Doesn't the restriction confirm Ying Zhang's conspiracy theory? And the top management also means the same thing. The senior management called him in the morning. The meaning behind the words is the same. They must strongly support outstanding companies. Isn't this obvious enough? But I heard that OYEV from the bear country has gone to Ziyang again. Lian Xiaofeng muttered a few words in a low voice. When Yan Zhonlong heard this, his expression turned sideways. This old man is not a fuel-efficient lamp. Can't you keep a low profile at this critical moment? Why are you still standing there? Hurry up and send someone to check on the situation. 
Early the next morning, not long after Lu Ming arrived at the factory, a call from the doorman Lao Zhao came to his office. What, Lao Zhao, please let me smoke Wazi. Lu Ming joked when he received the call. However, what Lao Zhao said next made Lu Ming completely unable to laugh. Boss, run away quickly, that old man is here again. Lu Ming, run, why the hell did I run? I haven't done anything harmful to the world. But when he thought of Lao Maozi, Lu Ming felt a pain in his liver. Grandma, how dare you come here? Bring people to the conference room, I'll be there soon. Lu Ming hung up the phone with a snap. Half an hour later, Lu Ming and Song Kangming were sitting in the conference room. Both of them looked at Oyev, who was sitting uneasily on the sofa opposite, with strange eyes. Mr. Oyev, long time no see. Lu Ming stared at the old man in front of him with an unkind expression, and greeted him with a smile. I was a good farm vehicle but was dragged onto the battlefield by you. Do you know that I was almost sent in by you? On the other side, as an agent, Oyev has a basic skill of observing people's emotions. He naturally saw that Lu Ming did not welcome him. However, he came with a mission. Think about General Solaviv patting him on the shoulder affectionately before setting off. Xiao Ao, go buy some more desert crossers. Let's make a small request this time. It doesn't matter if the price is higher, the main thing is that you have a better attitude. Communicate with them carefully. If you can't buy a car, don't come back. When he thought of General Solaviv entrusting him with the important task, Oyev was almost moved to tears. Ahem, Oyev couldn't help coughing twice when he thought about the arduous task he was shouldering. Then he said with a somewhat embarrassed expression. Dear Lu, long time no see. How are you doing? I've brought you a big order this time. Oyev looked at Lu Ming with a bit of flattery. No way. Whether he can still hear his hometown of Katyusha depends entirely on Lu Ming's wishes. After Oyev finished speaking, he stared at Lu Ming. I want to use micro-expression analysis to see what Lu Ming is thinking. Across the conference table, Lu Ming still had the same smiling expression. Okay, thanks to Mr. Tuyav, I almost got the country's iron rice bowl. Lu Ming looked at Oyev with cannibalistic eyes. This iron rice bowl is not that iron rice bowl, and there is no need to take an exam at all. There is no need for thousands of troops to cross the single plank bridge. All you need to do is change your clothes and wear a pair of silver bracelets. Ha ha, Lu, you are so funny. Oyev smiled awkwardly. He naturally knew what Lu Ming meant. But for this reason, Oyev does not intend to compromise. He showed his cards directly. He could see that although Lu Ming was very dissatisfied, he did not refuse to meet him. Secondly, Oyev is not stupid. Sha Guo's intelligence department is not a vegetarian. If there really was no business to discuss this time, he would have been taken away as soon as he got off the plane. At this time, I won't be sitting here drinking tea with Lu Ming. Thinking of this, Oyev felt a little confident. Dear Lu, I plan to place an additional order. After Oyev finished speaking, he looked at Lu Ming nervously. Although I feel somewhat confident, I am not completely sure. Again, whether he can complete the task depends on whether Lu Ming is willing to cooperate. How dare you place an order with me? Hearing this, Lu Ming was furious. He took out a photo from his pocket and slapped it on the table. Then he stood up and pointed at Oyev's nose and said. Is this the farmer you're talking about? Don't you think you should explain it to me? The photo on the table is of no one else. It was Sulaviv, the general in the southern theater of the Bear Country's front line. Oyev has also seen this photo. He vaguely remembered that General Sulaviv was interviewed by the media that day and smiled happily. Behind him is a brand new desert crossing 1000-3. Seeing this photo, Oyev sighed helplessly. Sure enough, this matter cannot be hidden after all. Dear Lu, I know that what we did has made it difficult for you, and I would like to express my most sincere apologies to you. With that said, Oyev really stood up and bowed to Lu Ming to apologize. This time, Lu Ming couldn't handle it. Why is this old man suddenly so upright? Okay. I accept your apology. You owe me this. Lu Ming sighed helplessly and sat back on the chair. Then he looked at Oyev and said. But I'm curious, is this car easy to use? And why do you dare to come here? 
Are you so sure that I will agree to continue selling cars to you? Lu Ming didn't believe that Oyev didn't know the seriousness of the matter. He was a little curious about where the other party got the courage. It's easy to use. It's so easy to use. Seeing Lu Ming relent, Oyev breathed a sigh of relief. Sure enough, sincerity is the ultimate skill. You also read the report about the last incident. Ermao almost cried, ha ha ha. Oyev couldn't help but laugh when he thought of Ermao. But when he noticed Lu Ming's cannibalistic gaze, his laughter stopped abruptly. Mr. Oyev, let me reiterate again, this is an agricultural vehicle. Yes, yes, a farm vehicle. Oyev nodded hurriedly and continued. I had no idea before I came here again, but now that I can sit here and drink tea with you intact, I think the outcome is already determined. Lu Ming stared at Oyev and understood what the other person said after thinking for a moment. First, there is no doubt that the Desert Crosser is an agricultural vehicle. Although Lao Maozi took it to the battlefield, this does not change its label as an agricultural vehicle. Secondly, Lao Maozi and Sha Guo also have a strategic relationship, and the higher-ups are probably turning a blind eye. As long as the military red line is not touched, there will be no problem. Finally, agricultural vehicles are not subject to war regulations and are not embargoed. I am afraid that the higher-ups are happy to make money for themselves. After understanding this, Lu Ming finally understood why Oyev had the courage to come to him again. Tell me about the order. How many vehicles are you planning to buy this time? Lu Ming calmly took a sip of tea. No more, no more, just 2,000 vehicles. PFF. Lu Ming spit out a sip of tea. How many? 2,000 vehicles. Just pay it back. Song Kangming on the side was not much better after hearing Oyev's words. My butt almost slipped and I sat down directly under the table. Mr. Oyev, are you sure it's 2000? Lu Ming recovered from the shock and looked at the other party in disbelief. 2000 vehicles, this horse is worth more than 200 million. When did their small agricultural machinery factory take over orders worth hundreds of millions? Yes, that's right. That's 2000. My mother. Lu Ming was really frightened when he heard Oyev confirm this terrifying number. Mainly because the surprise came too suddenly, and he was completely unprepared. He originally thought that this time Oyev would buy another 500 desert crossers when he came over. After all, the conflict between Da Mao and Er Mao is essentially a regional armed conflict. The scale of the war was not large. Lu Ming felt that a thousand desert crossers would be enough. However, he never expected that Lao Maozi's appetite would be so big. It costs 2,000 vehicles. This horse, do you think this is wholesale Chinese cabbage? Lu Ming stared at Oyev for a long time. When the shock in his heart had almost subsided, he suddenly showed a bright smile. Money. A lot of pennies. Mr. Oyev, the tea has gone cold. Old song, hurry up and serve our distinguished guests good tea. I remember there is a can of fine tea genian in your office, bring it over. These few dollars of tea are really not worthy of such a big order from Mr. Oyev. Song Kangming. Oyev. Song Kangming glanced at Lu Ming and opened his mouth. Boss. Watch your face. That's not the expression you had just now. And that fine tea genian is my private collection. I am usually reluctant to drink it. How did you know? Song Kangming looked at Lu Ming then at Oyev, and finally succumbed to the order. When the order is signed, Lu Ming must compensate him with several cans of high-quality tea. On the other hand, Oyev also lowered his head and looked at the tea in front of him, not knowing what to think. A few yuan of tea, how can it be so real? Song Kangming went to change the tea, and Lu Ming chatted with Oyev about the order. It has to be said that agricultural vehicles and military vehicles are not worth mentioning in front of orders. Mr. Oyev, do you really want 2,000 cars? 2,000 cars. You didn't want me to make fun of you. Dear Lu, do you think I'm joking? Oyev repeatedly assured Lu Ming that this was true, which dispelled Lu Ming's doubts. But we also have a small request. Just mention it. After hearing Oyev's words, Lu Ming waved his hand. Faced with an order of more than 200 million yuan, let alone small requests. All you want to do is let me fool you. 
We want customized versions of the 2000 Desert Crossers this time. Look. Oyev hesitated for a moment before speaking to Lu Ming. When he thought about the demands made by his general, Oyev felt a little lack of confidence. What if Lu Ming disagrees? However, Oyev still underestimated the charm of money. Especially for a factory that was on the verge of bankruptcy before, money is everything. Customized version. Do you have any requirements? When Lu Ming heard this, he almost agreed. Fortunately, sanity still exists. Money is good, but you can't give yourself away. The requirements are not many. They are to convert these desert traversers into diesel power, install a fully enclosed cockpit and heater, reserve welding joint scaffolding on the roof, and preferably the truck body can be self-unloaded hydraulically. Lu Ming, you don't ask for much when riding a horse. Replace the engines. I might as well build you a new car. Isn't gasoline power bad? Lu Ming looked at the other party suspiciously. Well, it's not bad. The main reason is that our, agricultural vehicles, all burn diesel. The gasoline needs to be transported separately, which is not convenient. Then why is a fully enclosed cockpit installed? You also know that it's cold over there, and the fully enclosed cockpit and warm air can keep you warm. What about the reserved welding joints and scaffolding on the roof? It is convenient to install fences and transport more crops, fertilizers, seeds, etc. Hydraulic self-unloading of the body. Mainly to make it easier to unload the truck. Lu Ming, I am the fool to believe you. Are your diesel burning agricultural vehicles serious agricultural vehicles? Wouldn't it be an agricultural vehicle with eight sets of road wheels and a big thick tube in the front? And are the fertilizer seeds you talk about really literal? I have to say, this customized version is awesome. It's really too much punishment. But for the sake of money, I won't expose you. Dear Lu, aren't you dissatisfied with these small requests from me? Oyev looked at Lu Ming anxiously. He knew that this customization would definitely arouse Lu Ming's suspicion. If the other party didn't agree, then he would really be doomed. Customization is possible, but... Lu Ming looked up at Oyev and said meaningfully. Are you sure it's customized for agricultural use? Oyev was stunned for a moment. Then he reacted and looked at the other person with the most sincere eyes. Dear Lu, I can assure you that these vehicles are definitely for agricultural use. Okay, I agree. Lu Ming took a deep breath, stood up and stretched out his hand to Oyev. He naturally knew what Oyev meant by agricultural use. But he also believed that Oyev understood what he meant. It's not too much for an agricultural machinery factory to sell some agricultural vehicles, right? As for what these agricultural vehicles are sold and what the buyers do with them, that is beyond my control. Anyway, when I sold it, people told me that it was for agricultural purposes. This sentence is enough. And these modifications are not excessive, at least they belong to the category of agricultural vehicles. If you don't believe me, take a look at those agricultural tricycles in rural areas, also known as Sanmazi. That thing is a diesel engine, and it's a single cylinder. Aren't they also equipped with a dump bucket and a fully enclosed cockpit? Lu Ming felt that it wouldn't be too much to upgrade the desert traveler a little. Mr. Oyev, the bad news is ahead. Customization is possible, but the price is not the same as before. Lu Ming shook hands briefly with the other party and said with a smile. It would be a shame not to seize the opportunity that comes to your door. Must make a fortune. Natural and natural, price is not an issue. Well, after we design the customized plan, we will sign the contract. A successful business partnership is a happy one for both parties. The only regret I have is that Oyev thought the process was too smooth. As a result, he did not drink the superior Tigenian that Lu Ming said. After seeing off Oyev, Lu Ming and Song Kangming returned to the office. Boss, did you really agree to him? Song Kangming looked at the document in his hand with a look of disbelief on his face. Here are the customization requirements mentioned by Oyev. Although these requirements are completely in line with the standards for agricultural vehicles, all fools know that this vehicle is not used to transport fertilizer seeds at Lao Maozi. If not, Lu Ming looked at Song Kangming and said calmly. He gave me money and I sold the car. It was reasonable and legal. Why didn't I agree? 
Is it okay for my agricultural machinery factory to sell agricultural vehicles? I can't upgrade it a little and it won't be an agricultural vehicle. It's not the boss. The key is that he has ulterior motives for these modifications. Song Kangming looked at Lu Ming with a very helpless expression. He didn't believe that Lu Ming didn't understand the twists and turns. Old Song, your temper is bad and you have to change it. We are an agricultural machinery factory. We produce agricultural vehicles and sell agricultural vehicles. As for how to use and do what you sell the car to, that's their business. It's like I bought a Lamborghini. I use this thing to resell cabbage at the vegetable market. Can the manufacturer of Lamborghini recall the vehicle? I paid the money and the car is mine. I can use it for whatever I want. Not to mention reselling cabbage, I just use it to collect feces, and the manufacturer has no control over it. That's the truth, but have you ever considered a question? What is the problem? The fully enclosed cockpit, heater, and hydraulic dump truck are all fine, but we can't handle the diesel engine. As an agricultural machinery factory, ours has naturally produced agricultural tricycles. In fact, production continued before Lu Ming took over the factory. However, because market demand has been decreasing year by year, production has also had to be reduced. However, after Lu Ming took over the factory, he temporarily stopped the production of agricultural tricycles and instead vigorously developed the Desert Crosser. So the diesel engine technology is available in their factory. But that's a single cylinder diesel engine. This obviously does not meet my requirements. This is easy to handle. I happen to know a team that specializes in diesel engines. I'll go talk to them later. Lu Ming Wan waved his hand indifferently. Since he dared to agree to Oyev's request, he naturally had a way to do it. When Song Kangming heard Lu Ming's words, he didn't say anything more. Again, it is only natural that their agricultural machinery factory sells agricultural vehicles. No one can say anything. After Song Kangming left, Lu Ming locked the office door. After making sure no one was looking for him, he returned to the boss's chair and sat down. The system recommends an engine solution for the improved Desert Crosser 1000-3. Lu Ming thought silently in his heart. And soon, he had a blueprint in his mind. It is the inline six-cylinder diesel engine given by the system, also called a six-stroke diesel engine. Lu Ming briefly understood it. The output power of this engine can reach 350 horsepower, which is completely enough for an agricultural vehicle. You must know that some military trucks are only equipped with six-cylinder diesel. Of course, most of the military trucks here are small transport vehicles. 40 million. Lu Ming hesitated when he saw the price marked by the system. But then I decided to buy it. Even if the original selling price of the Desert Crosser is 129,999, this is still a large order of more than 200 million. It's only tens of millions, but he can still afford it. Lu Ming withdrew 40 million from the company's accounts, nominally to go to the R&D team to purchase engine technology. In fact, it is purchased ready-made from the system. After doing all this, Lu Ming quickly found Song Kangming. Let it improve the factory's production line for a customized version of the Desert Crosser. After doing all this, Lu Ming interviewed OYEV again. In the end, the price of the customized version of the Desert Crosser was 199,999 Sha Guodian. The total order amount is almost 400 million. As usual, OYEV paid the deposit first. Two days later, just in time for the end of the month. The first batch of Desert Crossers purchased by OYEV have been completely produced. Oyev's first order was for 600 vehicles. In addition to the 100 vehicles it initially took away, the remaining 500 vehicles were delivered in a unified manner this time. OYEV also settled the balance of the first batch of orders along with the deposit for the second batch of orders. All of a sudden, Lu Ming earned nearly 230 million. OYEV was generous and Lu Ming was happy. And OYEV, who successfully completed the task, was naturally very happy. After all the first batch of desert crossers were delivered, OYEV returned home. As for the Aus Agricultural Machinery Factory, they are working hard to catch up. We strive to complete this batch of orders within half a year. To this end, Lu Ming also specially added a production line to improve production efficiency. After all the busy work, it was already a week later. 
Naturally, such a large order from Lao Maozi could not be hidden from Sha Guo officials. However, Yan Zhonlong sent someone to tell Lu Ming, feel free to sell it boldly. In Yan Zhonlong's words, the state encourages the export of agricultural vehicles and vigorously supports agricultural enterprises like Ao's agricultural machinery factory. Of course, this support is not just words, but the real benefits. At the very least, the tariff subsidy is 30%. In addition, on the high-level side of Ziyang, Zhao Shan, the city's top leader, personally came to the Ao's agricultural machinery factory. The leader kindly took Lu Ming's hand and promised a series of benefits. Land was given to factories for expansion, and bank loan interest rates were cut. A bunch of people from Zhao Shan River. In short, it's just one sentence. If you want money, give money, if you want land, give land. Our city has only one request. That means don't run away. Just stay in Ziyang, I won't treat you badly. What he said was full of admiration for Ao's machinery factory, and full of expectations for Lu Ming. In the end, Lu Ming even got an honorary title of outstanding young enterprise level out of thin air. This was somewhat unexpected for Lu Ming. The Ao's machinery factory also put up an advanced enterprise commendation plaque. In my impression, aren't advanced companies all high tech companies? At the gate of the factory, Lu Ming squatted next to Lao Zhao and said with some regret. Old Zhao, why do you think our agricultural machinery factory has become an advanced enterprise? Boss, why do you think you, an outstanding Qingguang entrepreneur, have the nerve to smoke cigarettes here every day? Old Zhao, you're going to see someone outside now. Isn't it because you are such a pretty girl? The Wazis outside are all fake. You have to pay to buy the ones outside, but the ones that are free are the best. One month later, the Southern Frontline Theater of Damao. During the recent period, Soloviev's life has been very fulfilling. Since having the Desert Traveler, he found that the battlefield was much quieter. Just like a few days ago, they and Ermao fought for a small strategic location in the western part of the battlefield. Both sides sent support troops and supplies. Ermao's side was huge, sending four or five troop carriers alone. There were even transport trucks following. With such a menacing look, I don't know if I thought Ermao was about to rise up and launch a counterattack. On the other hand, Damao's side is a bit unsatisfactory. Just ten desert crossers were sent. You know, at this time, the battle between Damao and Ermao has reached a stalemate. Although frictions between the two sides continued, no one took large-scale actions. The war has developed to this point, and both sides are competing for economic strength to see who can't hold on first. So the battlefield is full of each other's reconnaissance teams. Once the opponent's transport vehicles, tanks and other military equipment are discovered, direct artillery bombardment will occur. After all, military transport vehicles or tanks filled with supplies are worth a lot of money. Losing one car is enough to make them feel distressed. In this battle, both sides played the same way. Damao discovered Ermao's supply transport team and fired rockets directly. Ermao also discovered Damao's support team and responded with artillery fire. In this way, Damao and Ermao fell into a cycle. Send support troops, be discovered and destroyed by the opponent, and then continue to send support troops. But soon Ermao couldn't stand it any longer. Without him, their losses would be out of proportion to Damao's. The people sent by Damao are all desert crossers. Even if they are fully loaded with supplies, how much does it cost? And the ones they use are serious troop carriers, and destroying one would be extremely painful. If you continue to waste it like this, you will still be the loser. Helpless, Ermao voluntarily gave up the battle. This small strategic location was handed over to Damao. Soloviev tasted the sweetness and was naturally in a good mood. His purchase of the Desert Crosser was originally intended to reduce the cost of war investment. Now that I saw that the two cents were not enough for me, I was immediately happy. In addition, OYEV brought back 500 Desert Crossing vehicles before, Soloviev simply waved his hand. All these Desert Crossers were directly sent out and steadily advanced on the battlefield. Ermao's face turned green when he saw this scene. Soloviev, you shameless old man. If you have the ability to do it with real swords and guns, don't pull up a farm truck and make people disgusting. Let's fight, this car is probably not worth as much as its own rockets. 
Don't fight. Damao will use these desert traversers to continuously send supplies to the frontline teams, bit by bit eating away at the control of the battlefield. This dilemma made Ermao almost collapse. After learning the news, Sulaviv was so happy. At this stage of the war, he had never felt so happy. I just like the way you look at me and you don't like me and you can't do anything about it. General. Captain Oyev is back. In the command room, a furry bear soldier ran in and said to Sulaviv. Soloviev's eyes lit up when he heard this. Did you bring the car back? Bring it back. How many cars? 500 vehicles. Let's go, let's take a look. When Soloviev heard the soldier's report, the wrinkles on his face almost squeezed into a daisy. Immediately, Soloviev strode towards the base warehouse without saying a word. Arriving at the warehouse area, Soloviev immediately saw a neat row of desert traversers parked not far away. At the rear, there were soldiers unloading transport trucks. Well done, OYEV. Coming into the crowd, Soroviv patted OYEV on the shoulder. It can be said that OYEV made a great contribution to their performance on the battlefield. General, 500 customized desert crossers, no more, no less, are here. OYEV was also all smiles. Soroviv nodded upon hearing this. Take two steps forward, reach out your hand and gently touch the car body. His eyes were full of love. Who wouldn't like such cheap and easy to use equipment? Is this car equipped with all the requirements we have asked for? Sulaviv touched the car body and asked without looking back. General, everything is equipped. The entire vehicle is switched to a diesel engine, which can reach a maximum power of 350 horsepower. The cockpit is fully enclosed and equipped with a heater. In addition, there are also connection ports reserved on the roof, which can be directly installed. The truck body adopts hydraulic self-unloading and can be raised to a maximum angle of 75 degrees. OYEV became more and more excited as he talked. Others became more and more excited as they listened. Others don't know whether they, the officers, know what these changes mean. Ha 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 good. Sulaviv couldn't help laughing after hearing Oyev's words. He seemed to have seen the scene of the two-haired mouse running around on the battlefield. Who would have thought that after the war had been going on for so long, it would be a farm vehicle from Shah that could change the situation. Sulaviv stopped laughing and said with some regret. Once upon a time, Rabbit also learned technical experience from them. However, in just a few decades, Rabbit has left them far behind. Now all of Rabbit's agricultural vehicles have reached combat readiness standards. I have to say, this is a bit ironic. Sulaviv sighed with emotion, and then shook his head. These are things that the higher-ups should consider, not something that he, a soldier, needs to get involved in. What he has to do is to take care of Ermao as soon as possible. Don't be stunned. Now that the car has arrived, all ministries should start taking action according to the plan. As Sulaviv's order was issued, Damao also began to act quickly. First, a few cars were taken out for a comprehensive test. After passing the test, these cars were not sent directly to the front line. Instead, they all drove into the maintenance warehouse. No one knew what Mousy was doing inside. Three days later, Mousy finally made a new move. At the same time, Ermao also received news. Zaloon, the commander-in-chief of Ermao, has learned from previous experiences and lessons, and no longer wastes time in meaningless battles with Damao. Instead, a comprehensive retreat tactic was adopted. Didn't you, Damao, have mobility advantages because of an agricultural vehicle? Then I won't fight you. I'm just inside the stronghold. Although Zaloon's tactical adjustments caused the army to lose a certain amount of initiative on the battlefield. But the effect is also obvious. Damao's agricultural vehicles are cheap, sturdy and durable, and they don't feel bad if they are destroyed. But there is also a fatal flaw. That's lack of firepower. After all, this is an agricultural vehicle, not a military vehicle. The advantage in weapons is almost zero. As long as they stay in the fortifications and don't get out, Damao can't do anything to them. As a result, Damao Kong had the mobility advantage but had nowhere to use it. When Zaloon learned that there was something happening on Damao's side, he immediately gave orders to the frontline troops. Get the ministries ready. If Mao deploys heavy military force, it will carry out concentrated strikes. 
If Da Mao only sends a small group of troops to harass, then he should stand still and ignore the opponent. After Zalun's order was issued, the soldiers on the Ermao front line quickly made adjustments. Ermao's soldiers retreated into the fortifications and paid close attention to Da Mao's movements. The front line battlefield, in an abandoned factory in the west of Ermao. Switch also received orders from Zalun. He ordered his soldiers to strengthen the defenses of the abandoned factory and pay close attention to the movements of Damao's soldiers. No soldier was allowed to go out without his orders. During this time, Switch strictly followed Zalun's instructions. During this period, no matter how provocative the Damao soldiers were, they would not go out. Facing the iron like Switch tribe, Damao had nothing to do. Today, after receiving the order, Switch went to the high rise building of the abandoned factory and looked outside as usual. Switch held a telescope and easily spotted Da Mao's small movements. In other words, Da Mao had no intention of hiding himself at all. Captain, something is strange. At this time, an Ermao soldier on the side said to Switch. Switch frowned upon hearing this. What's wrong? Do you think their cars are different from before? After hearing the soldier's words, Switch picked up the telescope and took a closer look. Looking at it, I really found some differences. The agricultural vehicle desert crossing was deeply rooted in his genes and he hated it deeply. So Switch is very familiar with Da Mao's cars. But now, this car has changed. The previously semi-open cockpit has been upgraded to a fully enclosed model. That's not even the point. The point is that there is a heavy machine gun mounted above the cockpit. Switch frowned slightly when he saw this. But I didn't take it to heart. There is nothing special about loading a heavy machine gun on the vehicle. Don't terrorists in some troubled areas also like to mount heavy machine guns on pickup trucks? Even a pickup truck can do it, let alone a big-haired desert traverser. It seems they are not stupid. They finally know how to modify it. Switch's lips raised slightly, revealing a hint of sarcasm. In fact, Switch had thought of this possibility very early on. He felt that if he had a desert crosser, he would immediately install a heavy machine gun to ensure firepower output. On the other hand, Damao didn't react until now. Captain, do we need to contact the heavy artillery unit and give them a few cannons? The soldier turned to look at Switch. Switch heard this and glared at the soldier next to him. You're so dumb. How much does their car cost? How much do our shells cost? Also contact the heavy artillery unit, can I give you a shot first? When Switch heard this, his nose almost became angry. Now who doesn't know that Da Mao's car is worthless? How much does a heavy artillery shell cost, and how much does this car cost? Have you ever seen someone exchange gold for scrap metal? Then let's ignore it, the soldier said aggrievedly. What do you care about? Switch said angrily. Didn't they just weld a heavy machine gun? Can they still expect this heavy machine gun to destroy our stronghold? You must know that the walls of this abandoned factory are made of cement and are strong. The doors are reinforced with steel plates. It's not that Switch looks down on the other party. The heavy machine gun that fired at him would at most lose a layer of skin. Even if the barrel is overheated, it won't be able to break through their first layer of defense, okay. Oh, that's not right. General, why did their carriage rise? At this moment, the soldier who was observing suddenly spoke again. Switch said impatiently after hearing this. That's an agricultural vehicle. What's the fuss about raising the bed? Before he finished speaking, Switch suddenly seemed to think of something. He grabbed the telescope at hand and looked towards the big-haired soldier. At a glance, he saw the desert crosser's back bucket raised high. In the back bucket are pipes that look like briquettes, dark and deep. The mousy soldier next to him waved his hand in the direction of the factory with a smile on his face, and then ran away without looking back. When Switch saw this scene, his face turned pale. Quick, take cover. As soon as Switch finished speaking, he saw violent white smoke rising from where the desert traverser was outside. Along with a, swish, sound, a rocket with tail flames was shot out from the white smoke. Boom, boom, boom. A violent explosion sounded in the factory. Switch felt the floor beneath his feet tremble. It's over. Switch stumbled and collapsed to the ground. He knew it was really over this time. General, what should we do? The soldiers on one side were lying on the ground, 
holding their heads in their hands, and shouted loudly to Switch. Switch heard this and smiled bitterly. Surrender. He also previously said that the biggest shortcoming of the Desert Crosser is its lack of firepower. But the next second, Damao gave him a moment. If he doesn't care about a heavy machine gun, what about rockets? Damao actually installed a rocket launcher in the carriage. How can he do this on horseback? Ermao's side was so blown away that he was running around with his head in his arms, while Damao's side was really happy. Ermao has shrunk recently, and they really don't have any good solutions. Bombardment with artillery can indeed capture strongholds. But then their own artillery will inevitably be exposed and become the target of the opponent's attack. But without artillery support, they couldn't take Ermao's stronghold. For this reason, Damao often scolded his mother. But things are different now. In the trench in the distance, several big-haired soldiers were lying in the ditch. They all smiled brightly when they looked at the abandoned factory that had been washed away by rocket launchers. Let you hide and not come out haha. -ha. Captain, this car is really amazing. That's right, the dump truck body is a perfect fit for the Kagiyusha rocket launcher. Calculate the angle, raise the bucket, and then we can just hide and watch the show. It's so convenient. Quote dot 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 quote. Several furry bear soldiers looked at the messy abandoned factory in the distance with a smile. What does it mean to fight without bloodshed? This is the horse riding. They watched the excitement and smoked in the trenches, waiting to go over and clean up the mess later. The Mao Shang soldier never thought that the war could be fought like this. Don't take it too easy. On the battlefield between Da Mao and Er Mao, the situation was almost one-sided. After Salaviv learned the news from the front line, his smile turned crooked. If I buy a desert crosser, you won't be able to get out of it. Now I'm equipping the desert crosser with a Kagiyusha rocket launcher. I'll see if you can get out, ha ha ha. General, this car is really amazing. The adjutant on the side looked at Salaviv and was equally happy from ear to ear. Just high mobility, compact and flexible. The key is that this thing fits their rocket launcher very well. They originally had a lot of rocket launchers in stock, but now they are ready and they come in handy. And the most outrageous thing is that this car is cheap. Even if they were blown up by the other party, they wouldn't feel bad. On the contrary, Ermao will feel distressed. Why? Do you know that artillery shells are more expensive than cars? Of course, they also hope that Ermao can focus on attacking these vehicles. As soon as Ermao fires, they can lock onto Ermao's artillery base. Replacing a vehicle with an artillery base is not a bad idea, right? Haha, ha, now it depends on what Ermao will do. Soroviv was in a happy mood. Now all the pressure on the battlefield is on Ermao's side. Fight, the loss is too great. If you don't fight, the losses will be too great. Everyone suffers from it. By the way, let OYEV contact the agricultural machinery factory in Shatter just to see if the remaining vehicles can be delivered quickly. Sulaviv tasted the sweetness and completely fell in love with this car. This thing is so easy to use. Hurry up and see if it can be shipped quickly. On the other side, Ermao lost on the battlefield, and Zaloon had no choice but to find Mr. Ozawa. I hope Ozawa-san can support the weapons and equipment. His retreating tactic didn't work anymore, and he had no choice but to confront Ermao head-on. When Ozawa-san heard the news, he immediately found his eldest father, Taka-chan. When Ying Zhang heard the news, he was stunned. Ozawa, Dad, help me. Eagle Sauce, what's wrong? Ozawa, Damao's agricultural vehicles are too powerful. Ying Zhang, what's so powerful about agricultural vehicles? Ozawa, burning diesel. Ying Zhang, just change the engine. Ozawa, there is a heavy machine gun on the roof. Ying Zhang, it's a modification, it's rare but strange. Ozawa, the rear bucket of the car is hydraulically dumped, and a rocket launcher is added. Eagle sauce, real or fake? Ozawa, really? Eagle sauce, what was your first sentence? Ozawa, dad, help me. Eagle sauce, get out. Mindless stuff. Is an agricultural vehicle with a rocket launcher still an agricultural vehicle? With this shameless tactic, no matter how much weapons and equipment I give you, it will be in vain. Although you call me daddy, I have too many sons. I can't use real money to fill a bottomless pit. Having said that, Ying Zhang wouldn't really leave Ermao alone. Although Ermao is stupid, 
he is still his good eldest son. After Ying Zhang investigated, he also discovered that the desert traveler used by Da Mao was very different from before. Although there are still no major changes to the main body of the car, some upgrades have also been made. Such as diesel engines. Many military equipment on the battlefield are diesel powered, which greatly facilitates the transportation of fur bears. Next is the hydraulic dump bucket. Originally, it was okay for an agricultural vehicle to have a hydraulic dump bucket. It's convenient for unloading the car. But if you combine the dump bucket with the rocket launcher, there will be a big problem. The rocket launcher is originally a cheap weapon of mass destruction and is very simple to operate. When the two are combined, the horse riding directly produces a qualitative leak. No wonder Ermao was beaten by Da Mao so much that he ran away. With such a shameless tactic, even Ying Zhang himself wouldn't be able to bear it. After the investigation was clear, Ying Zhang couldn't sit still. I'll tell you, rabbit, you are evil and dishonest. Whose agricultural vehicle is equipped with a rocket launcher and it fits perfectly? Soon Ying Zhang and Ermao released a video. He also publicly condemned Rabbit for breaking his peaceful stance and secretly supporting Damao with military supplies. Rabbit was also stunned when he received the notice. Haven't we already explained it, why are you still here? Are you in charge of our export of agricultural vehicles? Ying Zhang, you are too domineering. Rabbit, Ying Zhang, please don't spit on others. Eagle sauce, I have evidence. Rabbit, this is a farm vehicle. Ying Zhang, you also said this is an agricultural vehicle. Video attached. Rabbit. What the hell? Gallic chicken. Fool. Hans meow. Fool it. Footpot chicken. Fool it. When Rabbit saw that video, he was dumbfounded. What's going on? What about the agricultural vehicle you promised? Why is it equipped with a rocket launcher? Soon, the international community became excited about this incident. Ying Zhang. Rabbit, you still said you didn't support Da Mao. Rabbit, you slander. Eagle sauce, watch the video and talk. Rabbit, this is Da Mao's modified version. It has nothing to do with us. What we sell is agricultural vehicles. Camel, brother Rabbit, bring some agricultural vehicles to Shaw. Bangzigyu, agricultural vehicles are used for farming, right? You. Rabbit, huh? Bangzigyu. Nothing, nothing, this is an agricultural vehicle. Banksy country. By the way, brother rabbit, you won't come to Changbai mountain to reclaim wasteland, right, shivering. Bai Xiang kingdom. To the west is the highest peak in the world, which is not suitable for the development of agriculture. Yu Guo, 666 is indeed brother rabbit, he knows how to play. Ermao, dad, you have to make the decision for me. Rabbit is going too far and is not a human being. Da Mao, ahem, this really has nothing to do with Brother Rabbit, it was modified by our own magic. Ying Zhang, Da Mao, get out of here, you'll get a bargain and be good. Internationally, there is a lot of excitement and a lot of quarrels. Finally, Ying Zhang came up with a plan. That is to form a joint investigation team and investigate the agricultural machinery factory that produces the Desert Crosser. Find out what it actually contains. At the same time, the northern war zone of Sha Kingdom. In the office, Yan Zhonlong's eyes were full of anger. Leader, why did you agree to this? He's going to investigate if he says he's going to investigate. Who does he think he is? It's too much. Do you really think we are afraid of him? Perhaps because he was too angry, Yan Zhonlong's hand holding the phone was trembling slightly. Ying Zhang actually wants to investigate the agricultural machinery factory otherwise he will impose sanctions on Sha Guo. As soon as these words came out, Yan Zhonlong wanted to curse Ying Zhang's 18 generations of ancestors directly. As a soldier, he couldn't even protect his own business, and his helplessness turned into anger. Old Yan, wait a minute. When our aircraft carrier is built, we won't have to suffer from this cowardice. The voice on the other end of the phone was calm. But Yan Zhonlong is familiar with this person and knows that the other person's anger is definitely no less than his own. The investigation team will arrive tomorrow. Let's contact that young comrade. It was the country that made him suffer. After saying that, the other end of the phone hung up. Yan Zhonlong listened to the busy tone on the phone with mixed emotions on his face. When the incident spread back to China, netizens were shocked when they saw this scene. 
What the hell? Is this a desert traveler? Awesome, all the agricultural vehicles are equipped with rocket launchers. Desert crosser, really, I shouldn't have been produced. 666, I never thought that I would get this kind of treatment for agricultural vehicles in my life, haha. <laughs> Desert Crosser, I have been on the battlefield and stepped up for rocket launchers. This life has been worth it. Quote dot 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 quote. Some good-hearted netizens saw the video circulating on the internet and left messages on the official blog of O's Agricultural Machinery Factory. You also said you are not a military factory. Single quote. The messages are neat and uniform, and the discipline and organization are excellent. When Lu Ming learned that his official blog had been exposed, he immediately started investigating. The moment he saw the video, he knew it was over. The last desert crossing caused a huge sensation. He was almost sent in. This time it went even further, Lao Maozi actually equipped it with a rocket launcher. I'm afraid I'm not really going to send him in. I just want to do business peacefully, do I have any grudge against you? He thought about all the possibilities, but not this one. Boss, what should I do? Song Kangming became a muggle when he saw this video. Lao Maozi really wants to prove that they are a military industrial company. However, they are really just an agricultural machinery factory. Send a statement and wait for notification. What to do? Let's eat it cold. Lu Ming never expected that things would reach this point. Although when OYEV proposed a customized version of the Desert Crosser, he knew that the other party had ulterior motives. But I didn't expect that the other party would play so big. Agricultural vehicles are equipped with rocket launchers, what do you think? You, Mao Shang, are a big country after all, it's a shame you can do such a thing. But don't tell me, the effect is really good. At least Er Mao's side was beaten to a pulp. Thinking of this, Lu Ming smiled helplessly. He really doesn't know that his own products have this function. Soon, Ao's machinery factory issued a statement in response to the incident on the internet. Regarding the video on the internet, our company once again solemnly declares. RO's agricultural machinery factory is an agricultural company, not really a military factory. Also, the desert crosser circulating on the internet is not the version produced by our company, but has been modified. The vehicle is sold and how the buyer uses it has nothing to do with the company. As soon as the statement from Ao's machinery factory was issued, it was quickly reposted by netizens. Netizens immediately became happy when they saw this statement. The fact that Ao's machinery factory issued a statement so quickly can only explain one problem. They are really anxious. I understand, I understand, it's an agricultural company in name. Your tone upstairs is wrong. What do you mean by name? Some companies are nominally agricultural machinery factories, but in fact they are military factories. O's agricultural machinery factory, slander. He slandered me. Admit it, you are a military factory. 233, an agricultural vehicle produced by an agricultural machinery factory turned into a rocket vehicle. Who would believe you if you said you were an agricultural enterprise? Desert Traveler, the furry bears have agreed to use it. Quote dot 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 quote. Netizens saw the excitement and didn't mind the matter, and made fun of it one after another. And many self-media also seized the hot spots and started reporting on this matter. After learning about this situation, Lu Ming started to think about scolding his mother. Old song, what good do you think it will do to them if I go in? Isn't this causing trouble? In the office, Lu Ming was like an ant on a hot pot. This generation of netizens is really difficult to lead. What other self-media, isn't this adding fuel to the fire? Boss, why don't we take the initiative to report the situation? Song Kangming looked at Lu Ming and said softly. It's hard to calm things down in this current situation. Faced with the turbulent public opinion at home and abroad, they must give a reasonable explanation. Okay, I'll talk to you right now. Leniency for those who confess, lenience for those who stay behind bars, ah. Take the initiative to explain and strive for leniency. Lu Ming picked up his cell phone and prepared to say hello to Yan Zhonglong. While explaining the matter, also inquire about the tone from above. But when Lu Ming just took out his cell phone, Yan Zhonglong was the first to call. Lu Ming took a look and made a silent gesture to Song Kangming aside. General Yan. Xiao Lu, listen to me. As soon as Lu Ming opened his mouth, 
he was interrupted by the other party. Have you read the news on the internet? Your car was equipped with a rocket launcher by Lao Maozi. This time the matter has become big. Ying Zhang is putting pressure on the superiors to investigate your factory. Be prepared and don't let the investigation team see any mistakes. On the other end of the phone, Yan Zhanlong finished the matter in one breath. When Lu Ming heard this, his forehead was filled with question marks. What the hell? Ying Zhang wants to investigate me. What can I investigate about an agricultural machinery factory? General Yan, is this wrong? Why should I investigate an agricultural machinery factory? It's definitely not wrong. The investigation team will arrive tomorrow. Don't let anyone know. What am I missing? I am an agricultural machinery factory. Lu Ming broke the defense. He always felt that what Yan Zhanlong said was not quite right. It was as if he was convinced that he was a secret organization under the guise of an agricultural machinery factory. The problem is that he is really a serious agricultural machinery factory. Ahem, this has nothing to do with the country's reputation. I'm afraid you may do something bad because of your inexperience. Did you cough just now? You heard wrong. No way, you must be coughing. No, do you also think that I am a military factory? This really doesn't happen. You sure? Sure. Okay, let's believe you. Lu Ming looked helpless. What do you think this is? It's a good agricultural machinery factory, but why do so many people call it a military factory? It's up to the other person how they use the car I sell, and it has nothing to do with me. Lu Ming felt a little depressed. Xiao Lu, I have wronged you this time. On the other end of the phone, Yan Zhanlong's voice became deeper. No matter what, Lu Ming is indeed innocent. It's just that the form is stronger than the person, and there is nothing Yan Zhanlong can do. Lu Ming heard that Yan Zhanlong's expectation was not right, and after thinking about it for a while, he understood why the other party said that. General Yan is fine, let him check. What do I, an agricultural machinery manufacturer, have to fear? We have an old saying that says if you are upright, you will not be afraid of a crooked shadow. I am not selling arms, so they can check it as they please. Although he said this, Lu Ming still felt a little aggrieved. It's like you are having dinner at home, and suddenly a group of people break in and say that there is a criminal hiding in your home, and they want to rummage through the cabinets to find it. Who is not disgusted? However, Lu Ming also understood the difficulties above. The Sha kingdom in this world developed a bit slower than the celestial kingdom in the previous life. Lu Ming Chu and Yu Qian, China already has its own aircraft carrier, and there are more than one. Although the Sha kingdom in this world is generally similar to the celestial empire, its military development is still slower. The aircraft carrier is still under construction. So at this time, Sha Guo needs to keep a low profile. There can be no trouble. We must bear the humiliation and bear the burden to build an aircraft carrier that represents the right to speak at sea. Ying Zhang must also know this, so she came here specifically to discuss Sha Guo. General Yan, I'm not angry with anyone under investigation. Why are you angry? In the office, Lu Ming pretended to be relaxed and said. You kid. On the phone, Yan Zhanlong sounded a little sad. Okay, I won't be poor with you. Remember my words and don't make any mistakes. I will be there in person to support you tomorrow. That's all. After saying that, Yan Zhanlong hung up the phone. The vigor and resoluteness of the soldiers was vividly demonstrated. Boss, what do you say? After hanging up the phone, Song Kangming, who couldn't wait for a long time, asked quickly. Lu Ming put down his phone and sighed helplessly. What do you mean? Ying Chan rode so hard that he pooped on my head. Lu Ming groaned. Explained the investigation team's affairs to Song Kangming. Song Kangming also took a breath when he heard this. He didn't expect that the matter would be so serious. Go down and make arrangements. The investigation team will arrive tomorrow. Soon, the investigation team's affairs spread online. Sha Guo's official website also reported this incident and strongly condemned Ying Zhang's behavior. After the people of Sha State learned about this incident, their sentiments were turbulent. This scene is like the Yin incident of the last century happening again, stimulating the sensitive nerves of the people. Suddenly, all kinds of comments were overwhelming on the internet. If you want to impose a crime, there is no need to hesitate. 
Although everyone ridicules Ao's agricultural machinery factory, it is more of a kind of pride from the heart. Look, our own company has gone abroad and has been recognized by Mao Shang. Our agricultural vehicles have received military grade requirements. At this time, the Ao's agricultural machinery factory was not so much ridiculed as a military factory, but rather regarded by netizens as a symbol of national rejuvenation. Only when everyone recognizes you will they start teasing and teasing you. However, at this moment, Ying Zhang suddenly wanted to investigate the Ao's agricultural machinery factory. How can this not make people angry? Bleach. Ying Chan, you are so shameless when you step on the horse. When will it be your turn to dictate our business? Don't say that what we exported is not a military vehicle. Even if it is, it's not your turn to investigate. I'm so angry. Why did you agree to Ying Chan's shameless request? Wait a minute, Ying Chan won't be able to jump around for a few more days. Yes, when our aircraft carrier comes out, Ying Zhang won't dare to jump like this. Oh, I can feel Osa's grievance through the screen. Quote dot 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 quote. All of a sudden, all kinds of comments were flying all over the internet. However, no matter how dissatisfied the people are, the investigation team's affairs have been finalized. The next day, investigators from various countries, headed by Ying Zhang, found Ziyang City one after another. At the entrance of the Ao's agricultural machinery factory, a row of black commercial vehicles parked on the roadside. Several in suits and leather shoes stood there, chattering to the inside of the factory without knowing what they were talking about. Although it is already 9 o'clock in the morning. But Lu Ming did not let Lao Zhao open the door. This can be regarded as a silent protest on his part. Hello, we are members of the joint investigation team. My name is Smith. Please open the door and accept our investigation. Outside the factory gate, a man in a suit said through the security room window to old Zhao inside. Lao Zhao had already received Lu Ming's order, so naturally he would not open the door. Lao Zhao pretended to pick his ears and said loudly. What are you talking about? Old man, I'm old and I can't hear clearly. Smith looked at Lao Zhao and frowned slightly. I told you to open the door for investigation. Oh, you want tea, we are an agricultural machinery factory and we don't sell tea. We are from the joint investigation team. What? Form a group to buy tea. I don't want to buy tea, investigation team, investigation team, do you understand? What kind of group? Investigation team. What investigation team? Investigation team. Investigating what? Investigation team. Smith was almost overwhelmed by the old man smoking a cigarette in front of him. If this were in their free country, he would have drawn his gun long ago. PFF. Seeing Lao Zhao's vivid performance, Lu Ming and Song Kangming, who were secretly hiding not far away, couldn't help laughing. Ginger is still hotter than old. Song Kangming laughed and endured it very hard. Lu Ming slapped his thigh wildly on the side. Now, this is called professionalism. Next month, I will give Lao Zhao a salary increase and give him two bucks. Good guy. He asked Lao Zhao to leave him alone for a while. I didn't expect that Lao Zhao still had this ability. I said I was delivering food, but you said I was selling it outside. This old man really understood this aspect of speaking. Half an hour later, Smith stood in front of the factory gate with a collapsed expression. The members of the investigation team behind him all turned their heads. Looking at how much the shoulders were shaking, it was hard not to wonder whether these people would suffer internal injuries from being suppressed. Fortunately, Yan Zhonlong arrived at the critical moment. It can only be said that Yan Zhonlong and Lu Ming came together in this regard. Didn't your investigation team arrive at 9 o'clock? Why? I'm half an hour late. If I can't kill you, I'll disgust you to death. Old comrade, open the door. Yan Zhonlong got out of the car and just glanced at Smith and others. Then without saying hello, he shouted directly to Lao Zhao. Hey, that's good. Seeing Yan Zhonlong, Lao Zhao stopped pretending. He took out the key and opened the blacksmith's door. Squeak. As Lao Zhao opened the door, the old door made a heartbreaking sound. Smith's nose almost became angry when he saw this scene. The old man was just pretending. But looking at the dilapidated door, Smith became suspicious again. Could such a rotten factory area really be a rabbit military factory? With doubts, Smith and his party followed Yan Zhonlong into the factory gate and met Lu Ming. 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe and support my channel.